channel so in the previous sessions we have seen the list concept and tuples concept in python and in today's session let's have a look on the set concept set so set is also similar to the list and a tuple so it all it is also a collection of a multiple elements of different data type but the only difference between these uh, list and tuples and set is here the, the elements of a set is enclosed in between the curly braces separated with a comma right? so yes is equal to open the curly brace write down the list elements 1 a 2.5 a, B, C. So this is a set, a multiple elements collection of multiple elements of different data type separated with a comma and enclosed in between curly braces. So whereas in list the elements in square braces, in triple the elements are in parentheses, whereas in set the elements are in curly braces. Right? Next. And this set avoids the duplication. It avoids the duplications. If you write it here, s is equal to 1, 1. And if you print the s, the result will be only 1. Because it will eliminate the duplicates. All the duplicates will be eliminated in this set concept. So this is the major uh, difference between the list, uh, tuples and set. Whereas in the list and tuples, the duplications will be allowed. Whereas in set, the duplications are not allowed. It will not consider the duplications. Right. Next. How to create a set? So creation of set is a simple, just S is equal to open the curly braces and write down the elements. So these elements can be any or any type. And how to add more number of elements into the set? So if set consists of, see, this is an empty set. Creation of an empty set. Creation of empty set. Right? Now. If you want to add an elements into a set, directly we can write as yes dot add. So there is a function called add. Open the parentheses. I mean, it's a function, so we have to give an argument. That argument is nothing but a value. If you implement this one, the result will be one. And again, if you implement yes dot add of two, the result will be one comma two. And again, if you add uh, one more element, the resultant will be 1, 2, So like this, we can add uh, the elements into a set. Or we can directly update the set with another set. Let us take S is equal to 1, 2, 3. And for example, T is equal to 4, 5, and 6. So yes dot update of t. So here observe s is a set and t is also a set. S is set, t is also a set. And here if you print yes, we can get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Hope you understood. So if you want to add a more number of elements, Directly we can consider a set and directly we can update the set into the existing set. So if you replace this function as t dot update of yes and if you are printing t then we will get 4 comma 5 comma 6 1 comma 2 comma 3. Right? 
So the update will be done into this set. Here both are sets, S and T are sets. So the update will be done on this set. Hope you understood. Next, see one more example, I will explain you. S is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 t is equal to 3 comma 4 comma 5 and if you update this one s dot update of t and print t oh sorry print s it will give 1 2 3 4 and 5 so this one will not be considered into a set because 3 is already in set S. So, this set will avoid the duplications. Right? Next. Let us see the basic operations performed on set. Basic operations performed on set. The first one is add. So let us take here s is equal to 1, 2, 3, and t is equal to 3, 4, and 5. So s dot add of 6, it will give the s as 1, 2, 3, 6. Second operation length length of yes length of yes so this is a common operation performed on uh, all the sequential data types that, is, that means in either list or a tuple we will use the same data the same function so length of yes means it will return the length of the set yes so what is the here length of this yes is 4 so it will return 4 next update yes dot update of t so s is a set and t is a update so all the elements of t will be added into yes so s is equal to 1 2 3 6 3 is already there 4 and 5 next yes dot remove remove of element we have to give the element as an argument some 6 so automatically we will get s is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 so this one is an element it's not an index it is element next yes dot discard of 5 here the, this function also performs the same thing which we have seen in remove function. So here also the output will be, it will remove 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? So here also it will remove the element, given element. So here this is one also is the element. So what is the difference between remove function and discard function? So in this remove function, if element not found, then it will return key error it will return a key error that means s dot remove of 6 if 6 is not available in this list i mean set it will return key error that means see if i am removing the element 7 which is not available in set it will return key error whereas here error will not be raised so even though the element is not found in the set the error will not be raised okay so that's the only difference between the discard and remove next 61 yes dot pop so it doesn't take any argument blindly pop will remove the first element of the set and it will return the element which has been removed from the set 
So here s dot pop. So s is one two three four. S dot pop will remove the one. So it will return only one. That means it will return the element which has been removed from the set. And pop function always removes the first element of the set. So if you immediately if you print yes, we will get only two, three, and a four. Right? Yes dot pop. Next, yes dot clear, and this function will clear all the elements of a set. That means it will be an empty set. S is equal to an empty set. It will clear all the elements right so s dot clear so for insertion we are using add update these two for getting the length this one and in order to remove the elements we are using remove discard pop and clear remove function will remove the given element from the list i mean just say Discard function also removes the given element from the set, but if the element is not found in the set, it doesn't raise any error. So s dot pop will always re uh, return the element which has been removed from the set, and a pop function will remove the first element of the set. And s dot clear will remove all the elements from the set. So hope you understood this uh, basic operations. And one more important thing we should remember on set is. Slicing, indexing, and slicing cannot be performed. Indexing and slicing cannot be performed. We can't perform this indexing and slicing on set. Right? Next. So apart from these functions, there are uh, a few more. Let us see that. Hope you understood these basic operations. It's a very simple concept. See, next one is so let us uh, let us take s is equal to 1 3 2 4 6 and 5 let us take this one so the next one is max function max of yes max of yes will return the maximum value in the set what is the maximum element 6 so it will return 6 as a result of this function similarly min of yes it will return the minimum value which one is the minimum 1 next sum of set sum of yes sum of yes means it will add all the elements in within it will return the sum of all the elements so here sum of yes will return the sum of all these elements see 5 plus 6 11 plus 4 15 17 20 and 21 so we'll return 21 right so directly there is a function called sum so all these are the basic operations so i will uh, i will write the basic operations once again so s yes dot add element s dot update of another set s dot remove of element s dot discard element s dot pop s dot clear maximum of yes and minimum of yes sum of s so all this we have seen in this one right so for an empty set yes is equal to just open parenthesis right? next no indexing slicing and one more 
no duplications. So these are all the overview of set. Hope you understood. Let us stop here for today's session. So in the next session, uh, let us see some more operations performed on set like uh, in, uh, in union, difference, symmetric difference, intersection, etc. Right. So if you really understood my sessions, like my sessions and uh, share my sessions with your friends. And if you are having any doubts regarding this set concept or any other concept in Python, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that I will definitely try to clarify all your doubts. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.